Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Piper. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, this is the December um, reading for the water signs, the element of water. We're going to do a pick a card with groups or stacks one, two, and three here. So for those of you that are new to the channel, please remember to subscribe and hit that notification button so that you know when we are releasing videos on YouTube. All right, so you guys, again, water signs for the month of December, we have three stacks and uh, the cards um, that are um, in, the, in the stacks are as follows. We're going to do one card for your accomplishments in 2019, one card for the person you've become due to those accomplishments, and um, one card for uh, messages um, from loved ones who have gone beyond the bail. So maybe a loved one that um, is deceased um, or a guardian angel that watches over you. And so messages directly for you. Um, the fourth card is a card for love in December and into 2020. So, all right, let's see what's up. I'm going to put one Oracle card up top for um, manifestation in the month of December. So one card from my Law of Attraction deck here. For the water signs, please, Spirit. Let's get going. Ooh. Okay, so, well, there are two cards. <laughs> You're gonna get two. So the first one, water signs, is sorry, I have a wicked shadow here. I don't know what to do about it. Uh, gratitude. So it reads, I am grateful for and appreciate all the abundance I have in my life today. So don't forget to be thankful. You also got friendship. And that card reads, special friends are there to help me and bring me strength during difficult times. So You guys have important connections that have been made during the last year. And in December, they come in handy. So be grateful because I feel like you guys are being told to, I see the phrase, stand by me and I'll make it worth your while. So um, yeah, lots of you have valuable friendships and, um, and so remember them when the time comes. All right, so here we go. Stack one, let's go. So by the way, if you're new to pick a card, here's the deal. So when I watch these, um, I like to just close my eyes and let a number come into my head. One, two, three, and I, whatever number I see, that's the stack that I go with. And whether it resonates or not, if it doesn't resonate, you can always watch another one. All these stacks are for the water signs, but most of the time, the number that I see in my head is the right one. <laughs> and usually it resonates almost 100%. So um, that's what works for me. You may have a different way of doing it. So, um, and I will timestamp the um, stacks in the description box below this video. So afterwards, um, if you're not here, um, I was just gonna say during the live reading, but I'm not doing it live, I'm recording it. <laughs> Never mind. So um, when you go to watch the video, check for timestamps. All right, here we go, step one. So what have you accomplished this year? You guys got, wow, three of the air. Okay, great sadness. Take time to heal. The need to forgive yourself or others. And so some of you had a moment where you were very upset. There may have been a breakup. There may have been times where you felt really heartbroken um ooh, okay so all right here's what i'm getting with this, uh, this card some of you have never fully recovered from an incident during the year that put you in such a state you thought you were not going to be able to recover and it was brutal And it's not the first time you felt this way, but you hope it's the last time <laughs> because it was, um, I, 
I feel like this it was from so first of all it was it was regarding another person and for you it wasn't a game maybe for them it was and that was part of the the brutality of the situation was that they weren't as affected as you were and it it left its mark it left a scar and so for this group you are still in the process of recovering so the person that you've grown into due to this situation or due to this process or due to this, I don't want to call it accomplishment because it is an accomplishment to recover from grief, certainly, um, but it's more like a process for you, for this group. So the person that you've grown into, ooh, the servant. So the light attribute of the servant is delighting in serving others with a free and loving heart. You are happy to do work that is rewarding to you. And you finally realize how good you feel when you do this kind of work. So for some of you, it really has made you aware of other things in your life and not just, I'm going to say love because I feel like this is love, but, um, you know that you want to, you want to do work that makes you feel whole and fulfilled. So every card comes with it. Whoop, boink, <laughs> sorry. Um, every card comes with a shadow attribute. And so what you need to guard against is using the lack of money as an excuse not to for move forward with life. So you guys, though you are um, happy to not serve, but you're so willing You have to guard against settling. Settling back and letting life just pass you by. Um, and so using, using the lack of money as an excuse not to move forward with life, it's not the worst problem, but make sure that you just have to balance things, okay? So for those of you that are heartbroken because you spent it, oh my goodness. I feel like the three of air in, involves money as well for this group. I feel like you were, you felt quite used in a situation. And so although now you're, you're on the road to recovery, certainly, and you are, have becoming, you have become very much more um, dedicated to something that you do but don't let that keep you here. You know, like if some of you are unsure about how to do something or how to move on from something, let's say a job, you know, or um, a relationship, try to remember that it's not about money. It's about love. Love is, I mean, money is good for you. It's energy and energy always has to be in supply to carry things through, but it's not as if it's dependent upon a financial situation. So for this group, uh, messages from a deceased loved one. Um, I haven't even flipped it over yet and I'm getting messages about that. Okay, contact. <laughs> so, they're, this is what they were saying to me. Um, you have become anonymous in being. And so what they're saying is we want you to step out into the light and make contact with the real world. Don't um, stay in darkness forever. You can make something of yourself and of your life at this time. You just need to reach out and know that there are people who are willing to go the full distance with you. That's what they're saying. And I feel like this is a family member. Um, again, I can, I can hear either mother or brother for you guys. And so yeah, they want you to come out. They want you to make contact. They want you to come back into touch with people.
You were always outgoing when you were young. You were always on the move, always on the go. You had good friends. You had good family. And you were always willing to have a conversation or be there for others. But now you seem to have regress backwards in that because of your situation you are staying down for far too long Ooh, this is a strong message for you guys they want you to make contact um, touch base with people who uh, make you feel better or who can give you um, confidence again because you've been hurt so badly some of you wow okay uh, so love in December and into 2020 for stack one. Here we go. The nature card. Um, okay. I adore this card. And although it looks kind of dark and gloomy, not so. The nature card is about realizing that you can see through the trees. There will be times when you feel like life has left you without options. But the truth is those boundaries are going to be lifted anytime now. Just reconnect with your true self. You will be realized. There will be no further blockages in your life. So, wow. It's almost, they're saying to me, it's almost here. It's almost here. The blocks are almost lifted. You just have to complete the circle. Make the last few the, I was just going to say the last few inches. <laughs> I think distance is probably as relative as time is with the universe. Um, but so blocks are being lifted. You will, you will in the future have much less difficulty moving forward. The things that seem to hold you back right now, those things are being dealt with. Just so you guys know. So your love life will be much more open and honest. If you're currently attached, there will be much more love in the situation. You will have growth and light. If you're single, it means a person comes to you that matters. That has, they're saying to me, constant. So like they're supportive. They give you um, confidence. Uh, and so... The holdup is just so you can finish here, you guys. All right. Wow. Okay. So that's it for step one. Let's move on to step two. All right. Who's next? Here we go. So step two, you guys. What have you accomplished in the last year? Ooh, four of fire. So commitments, contentment, peace, and abundance, a happy home life, the most successful completion of a project. You were very lucky. You completed a project that took a long time or a to it's like a total commitment. Some of you got married here. The four of fire is the four of wands and for me, that's a celebration of commitment, stability, again, happy home life. Um, and they're saying to me, it was a tough road, but you made it. You did it. You did what was needed, some of you. And so some of you learned how to commit. Some of you, um, ooh, yeah, some of you manifested into your life a significant other and that person has just begun to show you um, how much they can be committed. I feel like it's new, by the way. Um, a new start. A, a relationship that's very deeply committed. And so either you learned how to commit, they learned how to commit, you... Um, And some of you didn't want this type of a relationship in your life, but you did it. You were able to complete a journey that led you to it. And so for some of you, this is a happy home. For some of you, this is just celebration of being stable. Maybe some of you just stabilized yourself. So I feel like, but whatever it is, it's deeply committed to home, love, um, 
Mm. I keep getting it's a strong partnership, deeply committed. So for many of you, this is who it is. Um, and I do feel like it's starting off on the right foot. That keeps coming in. So the person that you've grown into, whoa. Okay, so you're a god. <laughs> so light attributes of the god archetype, benevolence and compassion, recognizing the eternal force within yourself and others. Shadow attributes are despotism and cruelty, using power to control people. So that's what you need to guard against, you know, in your worst, at your worst, you can be cruel and using your power to control people. But at your best, you are a very compassionate. So you guys for stack two, I feel like you guys were able to conquer this as a matter of, they're saying you were able to conquer the fact that you can be rather controlling or the way you manipulate people. And now you realize that the best way forward is to, I feel like it's like a universal love thing with this um, archetype. You see able to see thing, people who they really are and treat them compassionately instead of trying to control them all the time. So your message from beyond, from um, a person that um, is no longer with the living. I was just listening to see what I could hear. <laughs> I keep hearing like, this is like a quote from, I don't know if you, so I'm dating myself. There was a quote from a commercial that came out on TV you know, like five million years ago, and it was, um, the quote was, I, you've come a long way, baby. And that's what I saw in my head uh, when I went to listen for this card. So here's what we got. All right, you got right order. I love this card. So this is what, okay, somebody's telling you that you need to get things in order. Um, Okay, so for those of you that were not able to complete the circle in time, there are still things that need to be taken care of. Um, okay, so whoever this is, I, and I can't quite make that out. Um, I can't quite make it out who it is, but they're, whether you realize it or not, they're always able to influence you from above. And so they send you divine messages and they want you to know that you still need to do some things. There are things you need to get in order here. This is about getting ready, um, tidying up loose ends. It means you need to There's some loose ends to do with 2019. And so although you've become very stable and you've become very committed, you still have some things to take care of. So get things right here. They want you to get things right. And so whatever it is, what is it? Some of you were sent to, this is very specific, I'm sorry, but some of you were sent to a box and you haven't opened it yet. Open it and see what's inside because it will change your life. So something. Something hasn't been opened yet. Some of you have something that got sent to you in the mail and you need to deal with this, whatever it is. Here, I see a box or I saw a box. They said box. <laughs> and so, I feel like it's important to open it. So for some of you, it's an article of clothing, but there's something here that needs to be dealt with. Um, Whatever this is, whatever this thing is that you haven't taken care of yet or that you haven't looked at yet or that you haven't opened yet, I feel specifically it's maybe something that came in the mail and you never opened it. 
um, it's important. It marks a turning point, okay? Okay, so love for you guys in December in 2020. And here we go. We, you guys got compassion. Wow. Okay, so again, with this um, God archetype card and being, com I mentioned compassion, and I know that you see people differently now. You're looking at them as beneficial to you and they have good and bad parts, everybody, like universal love. And I feel like this card ties in with that. The compassion card is about you being able to relate to others on their level and so it becomes you to be more open and compassionate and seeing other people's situations as well you know you can't always be the one who's right or you can't always be seeing your own side of things and so being more compassionate opens up the lines of communication in relationships for you I feel like it's a new idea for you and you suddenly realize that you have to take other situations into consideration. Some of you have, um, for those of you that are single by the way, you have a new relationship coming towards you and because you are able to treat them compassionately, things are going to work in your favor. This person will see you as benevolent and gentle and loving and not harsh and evasive. Wow, I'm hearing a strong message for whoever this group is. And they're like, I wish you would listen to me. I wish you would stop playing coy with me and focus on me. And so be compassionate because I feel like someone's trying to tell you something, you guys, for stack two. And I feel like it's a new relationship. Some of you have accomplished a, um, wow, I, if, sorry, lots of messages here. Some of you have a new relationship coming towards you and you don't even know you manifested that yet with this, com with this commitment, I feel. Just so you know. All right, next, group three, stack three. Let's see what you guys got going on. So your accomplishments in 2019. Ooh, Queen of Earth this is a good one. So you've become thoughtful, creative, warm, and sensitive. You make time for those around you. You're taking a more sensible approach. You're dealing with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. Wow. So you know your, you've become much more, well, first of all, I'm just going to say this. You've become more on it. Like, I'm on top of this. Um, I don't let things slide. I don't let things go like I used to. I know my, I know what I'm worth and I am determined to, you know, keep that in the forefront. And so some of you are taking better care of yourselves. You're taking care of others. You're much more nurturing. You're also on the ball as far as finances are concerned. You know, you um, are focusing on your pentacles. The queen of earth is the queen of pentacles and you're very grounded. Yeah, they're seeing a strong sense of nurturing and you're trying to take care of others as well as yourself and not be um, selfish. And so this is a really nice accomplishment. Some of you sometimes still slide, but that's part of it. And so you know when you're doing this or you know when your thoughts have become negative and you try to counter this. With, with a positive thought or a positive action. This is like a really good thing. So who have you evolved into due to these accomplishments? Oh, look at this. So you got child, magical. So the lighted attributes for this card are seeing the potential for sacred beauty in all things, the belief that everything is possible. And so that's positivity right there. Um, You've become sensitive to your environment, some of you. And I feel like when you look around you now, you see beauty in things that you maybe didn't notice before. I feel 
feel like also, by the way, a lot of you are letting nature guide you. You've rediscovered what it means to like reconnect with nature, breathe fresh, clean air. Um, it's become very magical for you. And like you, this is how you relax now, like sitting in nature. The shadow attributes of this card, well, pessimism, depression, and disbelief in miracles, believing that energy and action are not required for growth. So you can be kind of, this is what you have to fight against. And so this is a rather bombastic card. Like you're, you know, it's almost like some, some days you have it and some days you don't. <laughs> um, but you, um, this is what you need to protect against. And so where some days you're really, really up and you might have some days where you're really, really quite the opposite. And so just remember that that's what you need to balance. But again, I feel like you've come a long way. You you have certain insights in your life have given you a reason to continue on. Like, I don't know what it is. Maybe you're trusting yourself more, or you can hear your intuition, and it's allow you to discover your inner child, but sometimes that child just doesn't want to play. <laughs> So, you know, maybe a little more work to be done, but this is, this is a natural, nobody's perfect and we all have things that we need to guard against, right? Okay, message from a loved one who's passed through the portal or um, has been deceased or lives beyond from the ethers for you guys. Wow, look at that, you guys got storm. And so, while things may seem tumultuous, I'm believing in you again. You have weathered the storm, some of you, and you have begun to see the light on the other side. Let things finish up. I'm giving you this message from the other side because I believe in you again. You have shown me that you have strength that maybe I didn't know you had. You are being born from this storm and I wanna continue giving you advice I'm not sure. This might be someone who, um, this is, I feel like this is a friend because we have friendship up here, but, but I also feel like could have been a lover. Um, wow. So the storm card is about being enveloped in swirling darkness, but knowing I feel like it's about to end. I feel like it's about to end. Or you are able to weather the storm. If you if you haven't already come through it, you're coming through it right now. And so, funny, we're actually having our first snowstorm of the year right now, just like as we speak. So, <laughs> so and so this person wants you to know that they see strength in you. And they know that you have it in you to make it through any any of the dark times or any confusion that is um, hitting you. So when these storm, ooh, okay, storm. When these storms hit, okay, some of you, and I'm talking about this shadow attribute. See how these cards kind of match. Um, there's a shadow attribute here, and I feel like this person wants you to know that when times hit, when you feel depressed or you feel like you can't get out of bed, you just need to know that this is going to pass. No storm lasts forever. So stay positive and strong. I know you, you can do this. You need to purpose yourself during these times so that you don't get lost in the storm. Yeah, some of you. Um, for some of you, by the way, this is a long lost pet. 
Well, I haven't had that yet. <laughs> this is, uh, you guys are the last read, the last set of cards, and I haven't had a message from a long lost pet yet. And so, um, I'm always with you to comfort you through the storm. I can, I can touch you, whether you know it or not, and I can influence you. So I just want you to know that I'm always here. I, I, I feel like this is a cat, but I, I could be wrong. It's definitely a spirit animal. Um, and I feel like you had a beautiful relationship when this was, uh, when this pet or animal was alive. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Um. I'm just looking to see if there are any pets on this card. There are there bunnies. There are bunnies back here. Two, actually. Two bunnies. Just so you know. Maybe some of you had pet rabbits that you were very close with. Um, aww. And they're saying, remember me, remember me well, because I'll always be there. Ooh, Jesus, okay. <laughs> I have to stop that and I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Whew. Okay, so love for you guys in December and into 2020. Don't compromise. Okay, so this is about worthiness. The queen of earth, she knows her true value, and this is you, all right? You are being advised to stand tall and hold your ground. Don't compromise your belief systems or give in to people who don't have your best interests at heart. If you feel that this person doesn't treat you with value, there's no need to go along with that. Um, And by the way, pushing around the corner in a relationship, which I feel you guys are going to hear, um, doesn't mean giving up everything that you are. You're the queen of earth. You know your true, your true wealth and value. Um, don't give away whole parts of you. It's okay to be in a relationship and be dedicated and be a great partner, but you have to um, take care of yourself. And you've accomplished that over the last year. So when you do, um, if you guys are already in a relationship, it's about, um, again, it's pretty blatant. Don't compromise. Don't be so compromising. You're not a wet blanket. Be strong. Um, if you're not in a relationship, these are the boundaries you need to establish when one comes to you. And I feel like a lot of those of you who are reading this, um, you need to base new relationships built on respect. Respect for one another, respect for each other's boundaries. And so while you might be very respective of another's boundaries, you got to make sure they respect yours as well. So know when to say no, be straight with your conversation. It's about knowing your true um, sense of self-worth and value. And it's not about, you can still make them feel wanted. You can still make it, but you don't have to give up everything. Here's all my money, here's everything. <laughs> that's not what that's about. So don't be afraid to retain your, some independence in your relationships. See your finger? I love this card. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Leave your thoughts and your comments below. And I will see you uh, probably again this month, actually. But um, I just wanted to get those out of the way. I want to do something different. And uh, water signs, I know that you guys, you guys are probably my most dedicated subscribers uh, there are many of you <laughs> um, and so I know you guys are gonna watch this and leave me comments so tell me what you think and uh, because I have them done early enough I'm hoping that I can hop back online this month and give you a little bit more okay and stay tuned for more content about 2022 I'm working on that 
All right, you guys, thanks again. Check out the description box below for more information on personal readings and subscribe.